my little darklings coming out stone here, and welcome back to Amnesia Dark Descent. It's been a minute since I played this, I don't really remember what we've done, so we're just gonna continue onward, I'm just gonna figure it out on the way. Uh, it is all, it is like 5 in the morning, I wanted to record because I have not recorded an actual gameplay in a bit. So. If you're wondering why, it's because of the fact that I had actually been away at Comic Con. And my say that was the most fun I've had in a long ass time. Ooh. What, can I not push it out of the way? Okay, so I came in here. Hello? I don't like this. Oh! Well, that worked! A key! Regarding closing out of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation for the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They could rot for all I care. May I feed them some wine? It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Damn. No tinder. No oil. Oh, great. That door wasn't open before. But I know there was something else over here, too. Oh. There we go. Local folklore. Alstead and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region in which the lore is rich. Uh, another region with region rich with lore is Alstead. Deep within the East Persian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Any ask any local and you hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, rocked by their tainted souls, have left a disfigured and empty essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any polder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which could be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Visit Undone Henrik Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known um, Ed Erdite, I, I don't know if I said it right, visited Alstead at the start of the 16th century. 
He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records at the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some years ago, some years, some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Astold, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Okay, the last one. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstead, as mo like most those of noble birth. Rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the re history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Persian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular through his pre presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This is the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. <sighs> Well, all right then. Some interesting lore to this story. I got a box! I have a box. Don't fuck at me. Yeah. Oh. The box is stuck. I think I've been all through here. Me and the box are friends! Wait, wait, what's going on? Screw this. <gasps> ah! Ah! No, 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 no! I was seeing things, right? Uh, that wasn't real life, that was just the darkness. Stop being my friend! Am I right or am I wrong? I don't want to go down there! <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've got to talk with you again. Bye! 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 -bye. <laughs> Was that door boarded up before? I don't think the door was boarded up before. Don't remember. Uh, shit. It's been a minute. Shit. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I know you're over there, but still. Journal, journal. Uh, there's notes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Diaries. Mementos. Okay. Find the key for the wine cellar. I got that. Chemical green to be moved to, from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Again, we know where to get there. Evidence in the laboratory is revealed that combining four chemicals could create powerful acid. I don't remember what those four chemicals were. Shit! This is the wine cellar? Am I wrong? No, uh, wait, uh, maybe, uh, no, no, no. Let's see, I think that was an inner sanctuary. Okay. Okay, 
Um, let me just, uh, hold on. I need to find Shit, that's not what I want. Okay, uh, hold on! There we go! Okay. Can't- oh, Shit. All is good. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Crap. I need to get- Uh, more, um, the sandy potion. Oh. Do I seriously have to pull out the damn key? Boom, there we go. Oh, great. I'm more terrified now than ever because I'm afraid I'm gonna have to deal with more of those creatures! Uh, no, no, I can't fight them. I have to hide. I'm so scared. Hello? Is there any spooks? Are there any spooks? I see blood. Oh, is that wine? Oh, it's wine. Please let me wine. There's a lot of wine. I'm hoping it's wine. Ah! Where did the siren go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> Could the wine have something to do with what happened to everyone? Oh, that sounds a lot of wine. Just trying to make sure where I'm going. Ugh. Don't like this. I'm sure I'm gonna have to go through the open door. Either open door or one without door. One without door. Because I don't want to open anything. What? Sorry about that. I had to turn off my alarm real quick on my phone. So. Okay. Do we get. Mm. Please, no. Can I just find my stuff and go? Actual, I guess it's the actual wine cellar. Um, looks like this one leads to where more of the wine and barrels are at. Do I have to actually go where the actual wines are? Probably. Uh, hello? First, okay, I'm halfway down on oil. I've still got plenty of oil to work with. Stay away from me! I got a lantern! Close the door behind me. It's a coop right. Distorting. Something's there, isn't there? All right. Um.
and shit. Uh, well, I'm going to end the episode here for today because I gotta get to work soon. Great. Yay. Anyways. I'm hoping I'll have a longer episode soon and I'm trying my best to want to play Dark Deception. My computer just really cannot handle it right now and unless I figure out the settings for it to where it can somewhat run properly. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and a comment down below and if you haven't already please click the subscribe button to see more of my content. I post every Mondays and Fridays and for the month, actually for the month of October right now, even though I'm kind of late on it, I am trying to catch up on doing the days for Gortober. And right now, I at the moment, I've already posted up to three different ones. I'm by now recording this video. I've got more I'm working in the progress of, and hopefully soon I should be caught up with everything for those drawings. And then by the time that the last day comes, hopefully, hopefully, I've got a little surprise for that one, but we'll have to see how it goes. And if not, then it might have to be sometime in November, sometime in the beginning of November by the time I probably get it to you guys. So we'll have to just see how it happens. But anyways, I hope you enjoy my little darklings, and I will see you next time. Thank you.